there was fast track in the execution of the clinical trials, and I think it's, it's very important to know what parts were far fast tracked and which parts were not. So the fast track part were regulatory approvals, funding, data analysis, and submission to the FDA. Those are all paperwork items. What was not fast tracked was enrollment of patients, um, clinical follow-up of these patients, capturing the events which occurred, and the follow-up. So these trials were executed very, very well, but the regulatory steps were fast-tracked. And what that has allowed is for these two vaccines right now, and we anticipate more vaccines in the future, going to FDA for rapid review and hopefully approval so that we can uh, spin these vaccines out to people in a staged approach so that we can get protection against COVID. Now we have in our face two interventions that are protective against um, COVID. One is social distancing, masking, hand washing, and, and not congregating in large groups. And the second is, based on the data we have today, these vaccines which are associated with a much reduced risk of symptomatic disease if you get COVID. So what I'd say is if you're concerned about uh, how to reduce your risk, then seriously consider taking the vaccine.